The last thing I'm going to talk about when I talk about climate factors is the idea of microclimates. Microclimates is the climate of a specific small region. What would you expect the, area, the climate on this area right here to be like? Really close to the water. Well, you would expect it to be a breeze there. You would expect it to be moist and humid. So that's going to be one type of climate. What about right on top of the water? Well, it's going to be very, very chilly during the day compared to the other areas, but warmer during the night. What about right here on top of all these trees or over here? Well, there's going to be a lot of transpiration, so it's going to be humid as well. But under the trees, it's not going to be as hot because it's blocking the sunlight. What about this area with a lot of buildings instead of trees? What's it going to be like there? Well, that area might have a lot of um, heat and very dry because it's far away from water and from trees. What about those mountains over there? How is the weather going to be really close to the mountains on the bottom here? Well, you would expect to be very humid also because all the water that's going hitting the mountains is falling because of rain shadow. Remember that. But as you go up the mountain, it's going to get colder and colder and drier and drier. And on the other side of the mountains, it's probably going to be really dry. So you see how each little part of this one picture is expected to have a different microclimate. So people say that in New York City, right on top of the Central Park, it's slightly more humid than it is in other parts of the city. So you see how uh, the specific conditions of each region will affect the climate. And likewise, if you look at it globally, that's why there's no single area of the world that is exactly the same climate.